Hello, hello, Cancer. Welcome to your January 2019 overview reading. This is good for you if you're a sun, moon, or rising Cancer. And so I just want to put out a disclaimer once again, because I know this confuses people. Um, I'm not an astrologer, so just keep that in mind, please. I'm not, I'm not doing an astrology reading. This is just for Cancers. And... Um, we're doing a tarot spread, so I wanted to clear that up. Secondly, if you are on my Patreon or, or are interested in the love and relationship readings, I want you to know those will be available January 1st if you're watching this in December. And so I will include the link in the corner here as well as below in the description box. So those are really helpful. They're big readings like this, and so they are going to be geared towards manifestation and setting your intentions in a relationship or in calling in a partner. So lots of good stuff there. Now let's just go ahead and dive right into the Oracle cards. First thing we have is under a spell. So I would strongly advise that you Think, check in with yourself, consult as much as possible just to get reality checks of some sort because this is kind of a sticky energy if you can't see clearly, if you can't see things all the way through to the other side. It can be something where you start to construct what you want to see or you're projecting onto someone else. So just make sure you're checking in piece by piece and just but really getting clear within yourself. This is kind of a month where I wouldn't recommend making a bunch of decisions that are really intense or diving into any significant relationships without taking your time. Like this is not going to be a good month to go fast paced. And then the word of the month is story. Weave a fable, share your heroic journey, tell yourself a conscious loving tale. A lot of what you experience starts with the story that you tell yourself. So what is it that you have on repeat? What are you communicating to yourself? What are you feeling? And that story is what's shaping your reality. So just remember that as you're going through the month, like, are you saying mean, nasty things or making assumptions about what other people think, believe, what other people are doing? Just be mindful of that. And then we have deer as the animal card for you this month. Keep your eyes open. This is reading as being very similar to Under a Spell. Just not, it, it, it seems like there's definitely a lot going on behind the scenes, underneath the surface that you're not aware of right now. There's a lot of information that you're not going to be getting in January. It's a good time to just stay alert, keep your eyes open, but not a good time to rush, not a good time to make significant decisions, not a good time for any of that. So let's see what the central energy is for you. And two of rocks, this is decision making, but also going slow. Again, this is being um, brought up because you can see it's like this bear is going to get slowed down by the two cubs. It's not like being solo or on your own. And so there's a lot more to consider here than what you're seeing on the surface. Let's see what the crossing energy is. Temperance. Look at the different angles. Make sure you're taking multiple things into consideration before settling on something. Just a look at the whole picture. Make sure you are keeping a balanced mind, and I would say hang out with some people who are really good at practicing neutrality if that's something you struggle with. That it, Neutrality is not cancer's strength, and so maybe if you have some of that, great. I would still double check with people that you trust. What you have shifting out is the Six of Rocks, so focusing on repairing reciprocity and feeling into when someone gives to you, when you're giving to someone else. Is it balanced? Is it reciprocal? Is it 
flowing and easy or is it something that's really trying and difficult and that's what the six of rocks is communicating that you've already been working on and so now it's kind of like now that you have the information you want to make sure that you're going slow with moving forward because once you integrate all of the wisdom that you've learned and gathered you want to make sure that it's being implemented rather than just reverting back to old behaviors or thinking it's like just be aware of overconfidence or like, oh yeah, I have it all figured out. I'm just gonna go do that thing without thinking about it. Just try not to slip into any impulsivity just because you've done a lot of work. The oncoming energy is the 10 of rocks. So this is greater stability. I like this because it's showing if you pace yourself, if you focus on the big picture in the long term, that's what's going to be really foundational for you. This is one of those cards where it's like slow and steady wins the race. So being really intentional, structured, and having lots of boundaries is what helps you with this energy. And that's, that's essentially what you're working towards. So your big plans, they're not going to come from rushing, I promise you. The outward manifestation is the seven of feathers, getting all your ducks in a row, figuring out what exactly you're doing next and what you really desire both in experience and what you want long term i'm going to clarify this and i have the ace of wands so where is your inspiration coming from and wh where are your goals really being formed is it in other people's expectations or what other people desire, other people's limiting beliefs? This is a time when you really want to get clear on, on your why, on your source. This is like you're lighting a fire with something, right? All the motivation that you experience, all the things that you want and need, they're all coming from that initial flame, that, that initial spark. Your job is to identify where it's coming from. And once you do that, it's going to be easier to construct all the other things around this energy. So I think it's having you go back and take inventory of, okay, you've learned this. These are the current circumstances and how are you moving forward? So it's kind of like you want to go back to the drawing board just a little bit. And then in the subconscious, we have the seven of torches. So I think you're really rising above previous challenges. Maybe you've had a trying 2018 or a rough year. This is where you're really going to get pushed to evaluate. You're going to get pushed to check in with yourself. This is all about check in, check in, check in, check in with your mind, check in with your body, check in with your spirit, check in with all of these things and see how... Your actions are aligning with your desires, are aligning with all of the other things you want to take into consideration for the long term. So I think that you've really overcome a lot and it's just the way you're making decisions is evolving and it is something where the information that you're gathering is going to paint a different picture as you start to adjust the story, as you set different expectations, as you take inventory on what really your motives and desires are. So things are really shifting. That's why I'm saying don't commit to anything because there's a lot that's in the works. And then the advice for you is the Wheel of Fortune. There's a, oh man, it, you just, you can't see a lot right now. So be mindful. You can trust, but it's kind of like trust without throwing all caution to the wind. That's not necessarily a good plan for you in January. So this is saying wait for the information to make an appearance because something is missing. Like there's a huge chunk of information that's missing this month. And I don't think that January is really when it's going to come up. This is time to evaluate. 
check in, evaluate, see what's going on for you. And from there, you can really um, make some adjustments. External influences, we have nine of shells. Things are really working out for you. They're spinning in your favor. So it seems like all of the things you've been asking for are really starting to take shape and come to fruition. I think that there's a little bit of patience that needs to happen here, though. So it's like you've placed your order. You don't want to start um, throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You know, you don't want to start from scratch this month. It's like you want to wait for things to build. You want to wait for the information to come through and see just how much is coming your way because it looks like you can't see it quite yet. And the hopes and fears, we have the three of shells. So I think it's just about ease, wanting things to be easy and flowing and enjoyable. And if that's the goal, then it's something that you are going to have to create for yourself, within yourself, by yourself. It's not going to come from an external source. So this is something you can experience now. It's not something that you want to say, well, when X, Y, Z happens, then I'll have fun. Then I'll enjoy myself. Then I'll, you know, just make sure you're not putting a whole bunch of conditions on yourself in order to play and have fun and do all of the things that you want to do. Some things you're going to need to wait on, but a lot of the the little emotional things, you can start practicing and implementing those now. So the outcome of January is the Four of Feathers. This is another slow down card, another pace yourself card. This, this is the most bizarre reading I've ever had for cancer. So I just want you to know if it sounds a little bit funky, I'm right there with you. This is not normal energy that I would read for you guys. So if you're feeling in a funk, if you're feeling like January is just super weird, take it with a grain of salt. Just chalk it up to these are the circumstances. This is the energy right now. I'm clarifying the four of swords. We have two of pentacles. Again, that's the center of your reading. Slow down on decisions. Take a break. Rest. Rest relax. I, I would say dot your I's and cross your T's. Triple check everything that you can. Go through, see what your natural, like what does your heart say? What does your head say? You just want to cover all your bases when it comes to your next steps and leave no stone unturned. That this is the month to go through with a fine tooth comb and really make some serious evaluations. So do not rush yourself because it will not bode well long term. I mean, and, and nothing catastrophic, but it's it's just something where rushing is going to delay things in the end. Okay. So now we're going to go into the timeline. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And we start here with the first quarter, second, third, and fourth quarter. They're about a week, give or take. So starting off the month of January, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Mapping things out for yourself. Don't forget, this is a great time to continue setting intentions and see how are you starting off the year. What things have you started to initiate since January 1st and are they working or do you need to make a few tweaks before you continue pursuing them? Uh, the, you might have a lot of plates spinning in the beginning of the year and it's just about making sure that they can all be maintained at the same time. That's the, the trick here. Second quarter, we have the chariot. It looks like things start to get a little bit more hectic or messy. So this is why you want to be really strategic in evaluating where you're at, what you want. Is it working? Do you feel stable? The chariot is reflecting to you that there's a pursuit of stability happening, especially with the ten of rocks here. So you can achieve that, you can get there, but at the end of the day, you want to make sure you're strapped in, you're buckled up, you are taking care of the things that you need to take care of internally, especially. That would be number one. 
if your internal state is the one that seems the most off, then it's going to kind of taint the external decision making that you're doing. So that's that's why you have to be careful with the story that you're telling. You have to keep your eyes open and start looking at just the facts whenever you can to give yourself that other edge. It's like if you're already really sensitive and intuitive, then you want to make sure you're balancing that out somehow by looking at the other side, which might just be reason. And as you do that, it's going to start to give things a little bit more structure. The third quarter, we have the Father of Pentacles. This is where you start to find stability is right here. I think things that may have not made sense are starting to become apparent in the third quarter where you can kind of see, oh, this didn't work, so I'm going to make this change and this is how it's going to solidify. Um, whatever amendments you need to make here, it looks like you're starting to get the full picture in the third quarter for whatever it is you're pursuing. Fourth quarter, we have temperance again. So balance is achieved. I think that running on autopilot isn't going to bring you balance. That's not something that you're going to be able to swing this month. You will have to make an effort and be super conscious of your own tendencies. That is essential for you this month. All in all, it looks good. Just make sure you're going slow, not diving into anything prematurely. So, three card pick. You're welcome to pick as few or as many cards as you'd like. Okay. Card number one. Ten of Pentacles. Foundation, foundation, foundation. What are you building? This is not a short-term project. This is a long-term construction. So don't expect long-term results in short-term time periods. And this is something where it's really going to push you to be super diligent and focus on stability. That This is the stability card. Card number two, we have the Fool, a new start, a fresh beginning, a... It, this to me is reading as um, getting your energy back, like having that cleansing, wiping the slate clean, starting fresh. So I think that January is serving as that for you, where you can really turn a new leaf, get started on all those things that you may have been uh, setting aside. And this just looks like you have the the blank slate, so use it wisely. Be super intentional with what you are filling that empty space with. Then the third card we have is Eight of Pentacles. It takes work. It takes effort. This is not going to come just freely. It's something that you are going to have to apply yourself. So you can't sit on your hands this month. If you want any changes to be made, you're going to have to kind of get to work on yourself, especially with that internal state that is going to be really important for your ability to get things done and make things happen. And this is also one of those cards that is slower moving, that this is going to be a slow month that's pushing you to evaluate. So just go, go with a pace that is probably a little bit uncomfortable, but be diligent and be thorough. Okay, my friends, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, and I certainly hope to see you on my Patreon. Those, that has definitely been getting a lot of my attention lately, so... Um, Go ahead, check out all the links in the description box if you want to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to see which cards I use, they're all in the description box as well. And until next time, have a beautiful January, everybody, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.